Hello. In this video, I'll try to explain the benefits of the new Codename 1 Cordova integration and then delve into a demo of how it actually works. Let's start with the basics. What is Codename 1? Codename 1 allows development for mobile devices, tablets, and even desktops. You can use Linux, Windows, or Macs for developing in Codename 1. Codename 1 is open source. It supports all major mobile platforms and quite a few minor platforms. It uses the cloud to do the native build, so you don't need complex configuration or dedicated hardware. So why would you want Codename 1 as a Cordova developer? Where's the beef? The build cloud is similar to PhoneGap build on steroids. It supports the far more complex Codename 1 capabilities right out of the box. Normally, in Cordova, when you need to write native code, you need to write Java for Android, Objective-C or Swift for iOS and c -sharp for Windows. With Codename 1, you can just write Java as the native code and we will translate it to all platforms. If you write Java, you would still be portable and you will also gain intellectual property security since the code would be compiled, making hacking more of a challenge. Codename 1 integrates with three separate IDEs. NetBeans is the one we are highlighting in this integration. It includes amazing tools for HTML5, CSS, JavaScript, and Java editing, all packed into one convenient package. If you use a PC or Linux, then you can keep using it even when building iOS apps. If you use a Mac, you can keep using it even when building Windows apps. That all sounds great. But what are the downsides? The current version doesn't support all plugins. We are working on getting there, and the code is open source. Ideally, the process should be completely seamless. The current browser in our simulator is based on a WebKit version that isn't as good as the ones in the latest mobile OSs. It's good enough for most use cases, but it has some limits. If there is community interest, this is something we can fix. You can learn more about Codename 1 and about the integration with Cordova in our GitHub project and in the Codename 1 website. So let's get down to the instructions. First, we need to install the following prerequisites. JDK 8, NetBeans, and Apache Ant. Then, in our GitHub project, download the cn1cordovatools.zip file. Make sure to download the binary and not the HTML source. I will use the Cordova Hello World demo from GitHub for the purposes of this demo. I'm also using a Mac but this can be done just as easily on a PC or Linux. Unzip the cn1cordovatools.zip file into an empty directory and open that directory in the command line. Make sure you are using Java 8. If you are using an older version of Java, define the Java home environment variable to point at the JDK 8 home directory Otherwise, you will get an unsupported class version error. Use the command ant create minus d source equals the path to the app. Make sure to give the absolute full path to the app and not a relative path as that won't work. Now we can open the project in NetBeans and run it in the simulator. We can rotate the simulator, change skins, 
and do a lot of neat things. In the right-click menu, we can define the project icon, settings, and iOS slash Android specific settings, such as certificates, etc., which are essential for iOS builds. See our, our iOS certificate wizard tutorial for that. We can see the HTML and JavaScript under the HTML hierarchy. As you can see, I can open files and get a lot of help from NetBeans right away. It includes highlighting, IntelliSense code completion, helpful suggestions for many various issues, live documentation for various attributes, versioning support, and so much more. To send a build for iOS, Android, etc., I can just right-click the project and select the build target which will send the build to the cloud, after prompting for credentials if this is the first time. Once completed, your build appears at codename1.com slash build dash server dot html. And you can just scan the QR code to install them directly on your device or send them to yourself by email. Thanks for watching and I hope you will find this tool helpful. Let us know how we can do better in our GitHub project and discussion forum in the website. Check out the how do I and video sections in our website to learn more about Codename 1.